feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. This beautiful gift. I'm calling it gift, but of course, you know, it's an investment that will last a lifetime. I'm so excited to see how my whole energetic field responds to this water. So here we go. Thank you, uh, Secret Energy. This is almost like you need a master teacher in there for the fluid. So while you still figuring out yourself and what's going on with you and your relationship, there's some fluidal problems, chemistry problems that are going on inside and their instructor is hydrogen. I know what this is. This is the moment we are letting on the universe. Wholeness and balance vibrations as we come back from a brief water break, talking about waters. We had that fresh water from the Hydrolux, our newest, finest technology that gives us more hydrogen in our waters. Check us out. It's one of the ways we keep the lights on internally and externally. So check out the link down below. Check out the Hydrolux. We're doing it big at secretenergy.com. Make sure you register today. <laughs> Sign up. And check out onetribe.io where you can find metaphysical devices, waist beads, organs, amulets, and much, much more. As we continue to dive into the message, what can you do with those three things that we mentioned earlier? Moving forward in the application. Remember, because this is the wisdom. You can't get this information and sit on it. You can't receive the water and don't drink it. You must apply the knowledge to the body. These are mindful actions. And we ask of you as another reflection of you. This is something of the most highest nobility. Protect yourself and your loved ones, especially your children. And with these three things, we talked about your birth certificate, what you can do with it, your certificate of live birth, if you can get it, and your social. So I'm sliding back to my brother in the studio, to Ray Ali coming to us live, we out in SC, kicking it like good brothers do. Wholeness. Back, peace, 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 and back, and back, and back. Yeah, so those uh, instruments you were mentioning, uh, the birth certificate or the certificate of live birth. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say all I'm able to get from the vital records is the birth certificate. And that is not rare. Uh, it's actually common that they're only giving a birth certificate. Now, there's a difference between a certificate of live birth and a birth certificate. Mm. Okay. Uh, one is called the long form, which is certificate of live birth, breaks the details down, weight, height, all that good stuff. We said it before, witnesses and everything, right? The other one is a short form. It doesn't give as much details. It's mainly give your parents, your name, when you were born, time possibly, and uh, the date that was registered. Anyhow, if, you, if you're really anxious to get a certificate of live birth, you might want to go to Vital Records and write at the very top, maybe in red, in a corner somewhere that you want the abstract copy or you want uh, the, um, I forgot, it, it's a term they call it, but it's, 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 it's leaning towards the original uh, copy. And you have to make it known that's what you're looking for when you go there. Like, hey, I'm not here for a birth certificate. I'm here for a certificate of live birth. Mm -hmm. I wrote a very top corner there, the type of uh, abstract copy I'm looking for, the abstract original. Mm -hmm. And uh, they should be able to provide that. If not, the birth certificate is okay. You want to take the birth certificate and you want it, you want to get it uh, authenticated on both levels, state and federal. Mm -hmm. The reason being because certificates this a certificate is some form in my understanding of this information gives you uh some ownership or something mm -hmm. maybe an accomplishment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or a beneficiary to a share mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh you got certificate of achievement achievement and you also have a certificate of beneficiary interest now, in the Constitution, it talks about full faith and credit. Mm -hmm. 
meaning that all the obligations of the United States will be covered by full faith and credit. Mm -hmm. When you get your documents notarized at the state and then to the federal level, you'll get a U.S. Department of State authentication from the Secretary of State. At the bottom, it will say what? Full faith and credit. Mm -hmm. Why is that on a birth certificate? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me this is an instrument of value? For you to place full faith and credit, that's basically stating that it's an obligation of the United States mm -hmm. that is to be uh, taken care of by the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, when you get something authenticated, it shows that you're the true owner. Mm -hmm. It shows you the holder and the owner of that. Mm -hmm. Right? You have a priority interest because you got it authenticated all the way up to the very tip of the top. Mm -hmm. So who can better show that you own it but you when you got that authentication? Mm -hmm. I own this person, not human, this person. Mm -hmm. This corp. This, this, yes, this corp, right? Mm -hmm. This uh, thing, because it's a thing. It's not you, mm -hmm. okay? These are instruments you are to control amongst the seas in commerce. Mm -hmm. You never say it's you. Not even the social, because the social is, according to some Christians, the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're going around and identifying yourself with the number all day, mm -hmm. you have that mark. Mm -hmm. You're saying you're an entity. You are a number. A man is not identified by a number, but maybe by his soul and his spirit and his mind, but not by a number. It's character, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you get it authenticated. That's the first step. Second step, you'll get your social security. If you don't have it, please order one and have it, keep it, you know, uh, locked away somewhere just for records purposes. But when you get that, uh, you also want to get what's called a numident record, N-U-M-I-D-E-N-T, record. It's for the purposes of getting the original contract your parents signed for that social security number, which will have another series of numbers you knew nothing about. So it's like, for example, you have a car title. I'm going to throw a curveball at you. Do you own that car? Mm -hmm. A lot of you are going to say, yeah, I got the title. Mm -hmm. It's mine. Well, for one, you registered. I mean, you gave title over to mm -hmm. the Department of Motor Vehicles, which is a private entity or a state, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you don't own the title. You're actually just... Uh, a part owner, mm -hmm. right? And then, when I say that, because if you own it outright, it's either A, in your trust, or B, you have what is called a, uh, a manufacturing uh, certificate of origin, mm -hmm. a manufacturer's MCO, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meaning that you have the certificate of origin of where that car and who created that car, when it was created and everything. That is the original root titled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the numinant record. Same with your children. Same with your children. So you say you think you own your child. It's my baby. <laughs> no, you don't do right by that baby. Or yes. you've been called by the state. The state shall take mm -hmm. your baby. Yes. Mama, daddy. It's not yours. Mm -hmm. He's not yours. He looked like you, smelled like you, got my name. She got my nose. But until you do right by that kid, that child, he's not yours. Mm -hmm. And that's first by getting right by yourself, claiming right. your, correcting your status or your inheritance, your inheritance, your state, getting your you stuff together. Yeah. And then you begin the ownership process. Yep. Um, you, you said it well. I mean, it's, and I don't, I'm not a biblical person, but I'll let you know now the Bible is the most, uh, best tool you can have because the bible breaks down trust in today's time it breaks down inheritances it tells you about spending and investing and taxes and judges and all these things and it tells you that you have a covenant that's a trust you have a covenant okay you are a covenant t a trustee mm, talk to him. on the land. Mm. 
So, as she stated, if you're not doing by, right by your children, and we don't mean, oh, we're taking to McDonald's every now and then, right? <laughs> no, we mean, are you properly administering your own affairs without having another man do it for you? Because in their system, Institute of American Law, John Bouvier, it states that you can be punished for mismanagement or misgovernment of your home. Mm. How can anybody tell you how to run your home? Mm. Unless you've given them that ability and that authority by registering your child with them. Mm. Now they can dictate and regulate your home, fellas and ladies. Mm -hmm. So the original way we claimed our children was via Bible. Mm -hmm. We wrote our births in our biblical books mm -hmm. or whatever religious creed you uh, uh, subscribe to. It was written privately in a family book. Private. Privately. It wasn't registered mm -hmm. with someone else. Now, I'm not saying don't register because you can and be able to use that in your advantage if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing quite yet, you know, I would say, of course, the Bible is a good start to register or to, to, to record the birth of your children. Um, and... Once you do the Bible, hell, uh, uh, publish them in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. That you had that child on that day. and the high, This is how they did with the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. You have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. They have the priority entry because they registered it first. You didn't. Mm -hmm. you had to dock the ship. Right. And, wow. the, and then when you pull your, your children's uh, medical records, and this is going to blow your mind. They don't have a name on the medical records. Guess what they have? Baby girl, last name. Mm. Baby boy, last name. Mm. On all the medical records. Mm. I did, I just got my daughter's. Her name, her first name, her middle name there is not nowhere in sight. Mm -hmm. They only got baby girl, last name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let you know that they are even telling, they, they just actually retitled your child by calling her baby girl, last name and giving her an MRN number at the hospital. That's their form of titling your child and taking your property. And then they retitled or redeposited your child with the state when they forwarded that information to the state to get registered. Mm -hmm. So now you got two chains of title going. You got the hospital first. Now you got the state. Two, not, two knots, you got to go back and untie. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So cl claim your children. Even if you get a birth certificate, turn around, publish them in the newspaper. Write them in, the, uh, in your Bibles. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I said that name for a reason. You are not um, uh, 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 given a name upon that certificate of live birth. Mm. Only a name that's given to you in two ways. Baptism mm -hmm. and Christian. Because mm -hmm. remember... Law doesn't deals with names. That's ecclesiastical law. That means religious. Mm -hmm. That's a different realm. Mm -hmm. So if we're talking ecclesiastical, we're talking about what? Baptisms mm -hmm. and Christian mm -hmm. names. I'm not a Christian. We get it. <laughs> scripture says, oh, I don't like scripture. We get it. Mm -hmm. But that's a principle that everyone can relate to to honor your mother mm -hmm. and your father, right? Exactly. I don't care who you are. Exactly. That's everywhere. Exactly. So claim your children, newspaper publication, uh, put them in the, in, in the Bibles uh, and file these things in a record once you're done. Uh, birth certificate, certificate of live birth registrations, uh, I mean, uh, uh, excuse me, authentications all the way up or birth certificate all the way up and numinate records for the Social Security uh, administration. I don't want to fill you guys up with too much, so I am going to digress and hand it over to the brother Rue. Indeed, indeed. Appreciate you, brother, dropping them jewels. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to slide some funny in real quick. Well, uniqueness in, because this was hilarious to me when I first, <laughs> you said something, you said something about names and uh, that and the last, last name of the, of the baby. Ah. And um, it was so, <laughs> so bam. You know, you know we got some amazing, I'm going to say amazing names. <laughs> like within, <laughs> with, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Amongst the people. And uh, so one story was the mother was giving birth. And the doctors, 
you know, say, you know, we're going to sing ABC because it had about, you know, 18 hours you know, before the baby hadn't even come out yet. It's still pushing. So, you know, in labor. And they said, we're going to say the ABCs and, you no, know, just distract you and, you no, know, help to get the baby out. So they started A, mm, B, mm, ah, three, C, ah, D, baby's out. What you want to name the kid, baby? ABCD, ABCD. Abyssida. Abyssida is gonna be her name. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Abyssida. Oh. So we got the baby girl out there named Abyssida. Oh. Shout out to you if you're listening. Hey. Much love. Much love. You're gonna get to trust together <laughs> and get this thing yeah. rocking. Um, and so, so we get talking about babies. And uh, I have a newborn. Well, I got an amazing one year old now. We we do. And well, in the, in the, in the family. Um, and my bro, I called him a couple weeks before. Um, before the baby was birth, the born. And uh, gave me some information to, for those who are, let's say you're, you're expecting right now, mm. how to not repeat the same mistake and keep that cycle going. How to get them on the right path uh, as soon as possible, as soon as they get here. And my brother talked me through um, changing the documents was actually, that, that was given to me. You know, they give them to you, you know, find these documents, uh, sign here, fill out the documents. Man, I took a red ink pen, scratched out some of these things. And if you don't agree to the contract, you change the contract. You the supreme counter being. Offer. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Counter offer. Mm-hmm. And if you can't accept the counter offer, get off my table. That's right. You know, so I did that. It was accepted. And my new baby boy is um, it's private. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, you are to sign the certificate of birth uh, application in certain ways. Uh, a lot of the titles they have on those documents are actually denationalizing you. Mm-hmm. It's taking you out of your true status. There's no such thing as white, black, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. That's no identity at all. Exactly. So that's just a thing. That's mm-hmm. someone who actually created the term and you're under the term. Like African American, that's made by Jesse Jackson. Right, right. So you're calling yourself something another man has created. Right. And remember, God's law is superior mm-hmm. to man's law. Mm. So, that being said, man's law cannot uh, dictate uh, what is uh, unless you allow him to. Mm-hmm. So, when that application comes in your presence, it is your duty to, as he stated, redact or uh, 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 take out what you don't agree with. I am not African American. I put on the side, Indigenous American National, or whatever you want to put. Uh, sign it, reserving your rights. Mm-hmm. Uh, signing it, letting them know your position in that contract or in that relationship. And the thing about relationships, everybody, mm-hmm. to be in a relationship, you got to have trust. Mm. Say it again. Bro. To be Say in a relationship, again. you have to have trust. Mm. When you go to the doctor, you trust him to do the right mm-hmm. thing. You trust your woman or your man to love you. Mm-hmm. You trust your kids to respect you and honor your good name. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So all these relationships are trust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And trust means confidence. Mm-hmm. Right? I put confidence in you to do something. Right? Mm-hmm. So these relationships that are being created at these uh, transactions, mm-hmm. you don't think it's a transaction. Believe it's a transaction, whether it's money or not. Mm-hmm. It's an exchange going on somewhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, you sign that certificate, reserving your rights, let them know your title and your status as the, uh, the father or the mother of that, uh, that baby girl or baby boy. Mm-hmm. And um, you make sure you put their rights, uh, 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 identity on there, who they should identify themselves with. So in the future, if someone tried to say, well, you're an African-American, you mm-hmm. can show, oh, no, it's not what I, not what I filled out. Mm-hmm. Which one of you are trying to denationalize me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is a human mm-hmm. rights violation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I say I'm this, but you say I'm that. Right. So, uh, so basically, I put him in a private status when he did it correctly. Uh, I'm not going to go too detailed right. on that because that, that, you know, no. take another no. thing, yeah. But it, it did definitely uh, get the first steps of privatizing his, mm-hmm. uh, his family. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's not what you're called, it's what you answer to. Mm. So right. be mindful of what you answer to. Mm-hmm. It's extremely important. And 
we talked about this in the last uh, Tribe Vibes and, uh, and the Ambassador Secret Energy uh, meeting we had. We have it on pretty much every Fridays. And we're talking about this pre-programmed words. Mm. Basically, we know we, we're in, um, in a space. It's a, it's a program. It's yeah. a, when people are programmed with different characters, give character, different characteristics that has been placed upon them that they, let's say, they gave faith in or they believe or have seen it so many, so many times, it's now repetition. Mm-hmm. So when someone's called you black so many times, white so many times, that you actually believe them. Yeah. Because may, maybe your favorite, uh, your favorite superstar was this name, and they said he was black. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah I guess I'm black. And then you start to, to eat the cake. It's like, for example, when... Let's say if every when I seen you or family and I was like, yo, you did something, a physical action. And I was like, yo, that that was cool. And then something else happened. And I was like, yo, that's cool. And then you know, a couple weeks later you do something else. I'm like, yo, that was the coolest shit I ever seen in my life. And you you the coolest. You the coolest, you the truth. So after a certain amount of time, you're gonna say, Yeah, <laughs> yo, I'm cool. Yo, yo, Stop bro, feeling yourself bro, a little that's bit, me. Right? Yeah. That's me. I'm cool. So now you are now you adopting that title or that identity that was given to you, even though it was in in in, in good faith or good with good energy, good vibes. You bought into that ideal that I gave you. What this, I, this did you give yourself this? Is this what you were born into? So let's say when 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 you are called like black or any of these titles. Remember that these are just hats. Anything after I am is just a filter to the, to the source. I am. All that I am. I am. That's it. Supreme. The supreme being is ineffable. You can't name my vibration. My name is... This is my vibration. That's, that times 12, you know, is me. You can't write that on no dotted line. So... Begin to step back from the titles and labels that we've been given. We've been living. We we let's say you was an athlete. You know, people you people call your name. This is me. Begin to de- step back from these titles. Mm-hmm. This is what they seen you as. This is what they know you to be. This is not all of you. This is not the wholeness of you. And let me add to that very quick. And this is just to give you guys something to do tonight, mm-hmm. or whenever you can. You can do this right now. Everybody got Netflix. Pause it. Let's go. Everybody got Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Netflix and chill, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Sit down with me. Come on, man. Educate you real quick through a movie. <laughs> but um, everyone, go watch the movie Jupiter Ascending. You need to watch it at least two to three times. Hey, hey. She was born at sea without a father, without a home, abandoned at sea. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The object of the of the uh, of the movie is another planetary human like people wanted Earth because it was their previously mothers who passed away, hmm. precious estate. Hmm. And Jupiter was the estate hmm. that that other planetary body wanted to take control of and harvest to humans. For their benefit. Mm-hmm. And throughout the entire movie, they're talking about trust and mm-hmm. wills. She even goes to the IRS and gets an EIN number, a tax yeah. ID number. But guess what the IRS is at? It was in a different galaxy. Mm. All right. She went to the Register of Deeds office <laughs> to reclaim her title. I, I bullshit you not, y'all. <laughs> she has a lichen slash human being following her protecting her that's her trust protector Mm -hmm. because she's a beneficiary to the estate Mm -hmm. of the planetary mother that left the earth behind for her benefit Mm -hmm. and the other brothers and sisters were trying to take it from her by either marrying her Mm -hmm. killing her Mm -hmm. because you die it passes on Mm -hmm. if you marry it merges Mm -hmm. or she signs it away Mm -hmm. voluntarily Mm -hmm. these are the three ways they take your property Mm -hmm. Your soul, your rights, mm. your persons, your assets in those three ways. Death, mm. voluntary contract, mm. or marriage. Mm. Oh, well, I married my wife. My wife, 
Well, fellas, you are a trustee to your wife. Your wife is a beneficiary. Let's mm -hmm. get that straight. When so you that. marry her, hers merges to yours. Mm -hmm. But if you have a marriage license, you are a ward of the state, and the mm -hmm. state re reaps all the benefits. Mm -hmm. That's why I said marriage, because mm -hmm. it's not no longer between you and God and your wife, between you, the state, and your wife now. Mm -hmm. So, third point. Uh, third. Jupiter ascending, go watch that movie, please. Yes, 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 yes. a little entertainment to keep you flowing, edutainment to keep it flowing, mm -hmm. to bring some things into the forefronts of the consciousness, make it a Netflix and chill with you and your lady you know bring out your, your some some uh some smooth frequency you know get some tantra and get some breathing going and build that chi build that energy and don't spill the sea <laughs> Ashe. 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 <laughs> keep the love flowing you know to royally you know check out uh one tribe.io as well as the links down below my brother's contact to be there and we got so much to continue to build on speed please remember to like Subscribe. Sub sub <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> Subscribe and share this video with anyone you love and that you respect. So, without further ado, we're gonna bid you a new moment to tap into. Wholeness and balance vibrations from Curtis Aru, the reflection of you and my supreme brother. Tore Ali, Minister Tore Ali, has been nice uh, coming and. Uh, sharing this information with y'all we're going to do this again i'm excited appreciate mm -hmm. you brother haru for having me um let's 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 keep this flowing man and um hopefully you guys you guys learned a lot from 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 this podcast today mm -hmm. uh, Shay, so these uh links will be down below some of the ones to the some of the content that we talked about and we're gonna keep it going until next time family wholeness peace